listen to these Tupac lyrics first before I start speaking so that you guys can, um, you know, so I can uh, lay down the context. <laughs> Alright, so a lot of people like to dive into the conversation about Tupac being a gang member. Yes, Tupac was a gang member. Tupac did get put on to MOB, which is a, a Paru set in Compton. But when you say that, you have to add the additional context. It's just like if I tell you, um, uh, um, if it, it's just like if I say, for example, that man over there has balls in his hand. And then if I just leave it like that, you're going to just, your mind is going to seek to define the context. But if I tell you I'm talking about basketballs, he's actually the ball boy that works for the gym, then you're like, oh, okay. So context matters. So when you say Tupac was a gangbanger and he joined a gang at the age of 25, you have to put things into context. All right, first of all, when you say that, it makes you automatically think of little kids, little young teenagers that are in a gang. And you're thinking, okay, Tupac is 25 years old and he's in a gang with a bunch of kids. That's not the case. All the guys that were on death row who were a part of MOB, Mob Parus, were in their 30s. The youngest one, the only one who was in his 20s was, was Trayvon Lane, right? But Buntry, uh, uh, Buntry, um... Heron, all of those guys were like in their 30s, you know, and um, the youngest one might have been like 29 or something like that. Like in 96, Suge Knight was 30 years old. So you got to put things into the proper context. Tupac was 25 years old. He was the youngest one in the clique. There was Trayvon Lane, and the, 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 one, the one that was closest to his age might have been about 29 out of the group of Pyrus, and that was the one that designed... The logo. I think Ken Dog might have been 29 and 96. So Ken Dog is the closest one in, to Tupac's age, and he's four years older than Pac. And Pac isn't hanging with. And of course, when you talk about a gang, you're talking about different generations. You're talking about different cliques. When you say MOB, you say he's a member. He got put on the MOB. It's not like he's a part of. He's friendly with everybody that's in MOB. He's crossing the generational line and he's hanging out with the teenagers that are in, in MOB. Because when you say MOB, you got members that are in their 60s, 70s, members in their 50s, 40s, 30s, 20s. Tupac was hanging with a particular group of MOB veterans. Uh, they were OGs, you know. Buntree might have been about 32 years old, 33 and 96. So, um... And, you know, same with Heron. These guys were like 32, 33, 34 years old. You know, Shook was 30. So you're dealing with the OGs of MOB. You know, they weren't really active in the streets anymore. These were guys who were active in their 20s. They all went to the penitentiary. And when they came home towards the end of their 20s, they got hooked up with Death Row. Therefore, they were in their 30s and they were actually working for a living they were doing security for a living they might have dibbled and dabbled in the streets but they did that from an og perspective they weren't really out there like that like you would imagine so tupac was hooked up with this particular set of guys who were much older than him everybody was at least five to ten years older than him and um he bonded with that particular extension of mob the OGs who were in their 30s. He wasn't hanging with the teenagers or anything like that. So when people say, oh my God, Tupac decided to join a gang when he was 25, that's so lame. But you got to put it into context. You know, the people that he was hanging out with were in there, were 10 years older than him. He wasn't 25 joining a gang with teenagers. You know what I mean? So I just want to put that out there. I don't agree. I don't disagree. I just want to put that into context because I'm tired of people saying, oh, he was 25 joining a gang. He's so lame, you know. You know, there's it, it, context to everything. Peace.